Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum, and I would like to take this opportunity to talk with you about doing outpatient urologic procedures using nitrous oxide. In this five to seven minute video, I will discuss with you the current trends in outpatient surgery, the opportunities for using nitrous oxide, and what are the risks and complications associated with the use of nitrous oxide. Let's begin with the trends taking place in medicine today. Fewer procedures are going to be performed in the hospital and in the ambulatory treatment center, and more procedures are going to be done in the doctor's office. The use of nitrous oxide and outpatient procedures is perfect for minimally invasive therapies for prostate disease, prostate biopsies, and any treatments for the enlarged prostate gland. The purpose of using nitrous oxide is to decrease the pain and decrease the discomfort and make it absolutely tolerable and comfortable during the procedure. In our office, we use nitrous oxide to supplement the local anesthetic xylocaine. We also find that this is exactly similar to the dentist using <clears throat> nitrous oxide in their office to supplement Novocaine. It has been used for decades safely by the dental profession. Nitrous oxide is a clear, colorless <clears throat> gas with a slightly sweet odor. Nitri nitrous oxide is blended with oxygen when used for its sedation purposes. Oxygen given during the procedure in the doctor's office is at a concentration that exceeds what you normally get in while breathing room air. The sedation qualities is, occurs when the gas is inhaled at very low concentrations. Higher concentrations of nitrous oxide give a sense of well-being or a high can be experienced by the patient. Nitrous oxide could result during the procedure of slurred speech, have difficulty maintaining balance or walking, be slow to respond to questions during the procedure, but the patient will not experience pain, <clears throat> will not be able to hear loud noises, and <clears throat> may, <clears throat> may have slurred speech. So how is it used? A mask, similar to this one, is placed over the mouth and the nose of the patient. The patient then begins to receive pure 100% oxygen in order to become familiar and accustomed to breathing when the mask is over the nose and the mouth. Slowly, nitrous oxide is added to the oxygen and is blended with the oxygen until the desired sedation effect is achieved. At the end of the procedure, the nitrous oxide is turned off and the patient receives 100% oxygen for several minutes and then the mask is removed. Most patients are comfortable afterwards, can walk out of the office and without any assistance and can safely drive themselves home after using nitrous oxide. Contraindications for using nitrous oxide are patients with significant respiratory conditions such as severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or emphysema. The side effects associated with the use of nitrous oxide are a rare occasional nausea and very, very rare for them to have vomiting. That's why we will ask you to abstain from liquids or food for two hours before the procedure. So in summary, doctors are making every effort to reduce or control pain associated with medical procedures that they perform in the outpatient setting. Nitrous oxide in the outpatient or office setting helps eliminate pain associated with various urologic procedures. Nitrous oxide is safe, 
and there are very few side effects. I hope you have found this information useful. If you would like more information, please go to my website, www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.